morning. Um, I have a good Bible study this morning, and um, the Lord had brought me to it, and I wanted to share it with you. It's very serious, and it's very encouraging. And may the Lord bless you and keep you this day and shine upon you. So it's out of the book of Ob Obadiah. I love that book, Obadiah. Um, anyways, and this is what I wrote, so I'm going to read it. It's in my little journal. So if I'm not looking at you the whole time, then it's because I'm reading. Obadiah, the book of Obadiah. Freedom by seeing God's plan for the future. When we have been betrayed and are struggling with hatred and the desire to get even, we must leave justice in God's hands. We can rest in the knowledge that someday the Lord will right all wrongs. Amen. Then as we release the burden of anger and hatred to God, we can get on with the recovery pro process. And we want that. Brothers and sisters, who here has have had dealings with anger? You know I have, and you know you have. Anger for our nation, for people in our nation, work, family, friends. I ask you, leave it with God. He has recovery for us all. Justice belongs to God. Amen. Although feeling betrayed is a natural feeling, God makes it clear we are not to act on these feelings. Don't act on them. Revenge, hatred will only bring more pain and devastation into our lives. Devastation into your lives. Place the situation into God's hands. Trust Him to bring about true and total justice. Amen? Then we can be free from the destructive hatred that will only impede our recovery process. Remember, as we recover, we need God's constant help and strength. Remember, God empowers you. Say it. God empowers me. And remember this, because God is your strength and God is your witness. So I pray that today as you go out, that God will give you great understanding into knowing how to be released from all sin's bondages and to be in that recovery process. And may the Lord bless you in all of it. God loves you and so do I. Take it easy. Bye.